Good morning people and welcome back to my channel. It's China Doll here. So it's a Labor Day weekend and it's a travel day on my fifth trip of 2023. But it's gonna be a really really short trip because I'm literally flying from Orlando MCA or International Airport to Miami Airport. And I know a lot of people have saying, why are you flying there since you live in Florida? But the thing is, I originally wanted to take the Brightline train, but all the tickets were sold out for the month of September. And I really don't like long road trips, anything more than an hour. I don't feel like driving. Plus, um, a lot of my points were miles, whatever, on the specific airline covered for my whole flight. So basically, the trip's free. Um, so I'm just going for the day and I'm gonna be having a foodie adventure. Like I have all these food places that I wanna check out while I'm down there. Like it's not my first time going to Miami. I've been there plenty of times, but it's like a little quick Labor Day uh, weekend trip. So. Let me stop talking because like I, um, when I got here I couldn't really find parking so it took forever to get a parking spot. It's like, like both Terminal A, B and C parking lot full so I had a, luckily I made a reservation just in case that would happen. I knew it was a holiday weekend so I went to park my car by this place called a parking spot and give you a free shuttle down to the airport. So let's go board before her. Um, I missed my flight. Alright guys, so... Um I'm glad, I'm glad I always have TSA pre-check because remember I was telling you guys that it was hard to get a parking spot this morning but then as soon as I got here like it was like no line basically I was, went straight through security so I have time to spare so since I'm waiting on my gate look I am editing um, the Halloween Horror Nights video from last night so it should be up later on tonight um, but yeah, I can't wait. It's gonna just be a little quick, short, I think 45 minute flight, and we'll be on our way. And look, I remember to bring my uh, <laughs> carpet socks to match the carpet here at my favorite airport. <laughs> So finally arrived to Miami International Airport, but I want to go check out one of the lounges they have here. It's called the Turkish Air Lounge. They have multiple like terminals that have it. So the closest one to me that it's gonna be in Terminal E. So I'm gonna go check it out. It's like a lounge that you can relax, get drinks, get snacks. Um, so go check that out and then start off my day here in Miami. According to the sign, it says it's supposed to be on this way. I've never been, but we are going to go check it out. So to get up there, you have to have a priority pass. So let's go check it out. After you check in, you show your priority pass, and then they have to scan your boarding pass. And then when I first came in, I see this little model of the Turkish airline. That's pretty cool. So in this room over here, it's just like a little table and desk if you want to get some work done. It was like three, five chairs over here and then a bunch of lounge chairs on this side um so and then they have screens up here that tells you like all the times and flight number gates if it's on time so we're gonna go and check out the food that's what i mainly came for so let's go here they got some lemon water some snacks some pretzels and peanuts and then in this cooler look they got a bunch of beer over here like the sake coors light and then all the sodas and then all the water bottles and yep you can make your own little mimosa if you wanted to right here that's pretty cool oh look at that view man this is so nice this is cool from over here you can see all the planes from the lounge this is neat all right and then they have a little coffee machine you can make your own coffee over here that's pretty neat on this side um, yogurts and little muffins. Why is it not focusing? There you go. Oh, better. And then you want some fruits? They got fruits. And a whole bunch of uh, cookies and fruits over here. Let's use a bit of like pineapple. And let's see what's in this. Have little mini salads. I wonder what they have over here. Oh, oh yeah. Some more. They got some sandwiches. I think that's old more from that let's see yes okay guys so for lunch we're gonna be eating here at Versalis it's a popular Cuban place it says the world's famous Cuban restaurant um, 
So we're gonna go check in and see how the food is. So this is what the menu looks like. It's a big menu. These are the appetizers. And then we have the day of the week special. And we all the beef uh, entrees. And then on the next page is fish and seafood. The chicken, pork, the drinks. And then this is what the famous for the Cuban sandwiches, which, I, which I'm not getting. I like how they use a the little paper um, plate thing that says wasabi. I got the mojito, which is one of my favorite cocktails on here. They didn't have any like flavored ones. They only had the plain one, but it's still good. Alright, so this is what their Cuban sandwich looks like. It looks pretty good. I'm from my side. I had got the plantains. You can get fries or rice or whatever else you want, but I just felt like eating that instead of always getting french fries. But yeah, it looks so good. Alright guys, so just finished having lunch at Versailles and it was really good. Just know that whenever you come here, it will be a really long wait to get a table. I waited about like 30-40 minutes. Got here about 3 o'clock, so I thought maybe if I missed the lunch rush, it won't be so bad, but it was still a long wait. But it was worth it because the food was pretty good. The Cuban sandwich I had, I, I liked it, it was good. I didn't think it was going to be like three sandwiches together. I thought it was just going to be one. So it's a lot of food, and you get a side with it. So like I got the uh, plantains, and it's not bad. It was like 10 bucks for that, so it was pretty good. And then um, mojito was good, and inside the restaurant is huge. It's like three rooms full of tables and chairs. So. But yeah, I definitely recommend this place if you're craving Cuban um, food in Miami. Okay guys, so now I'm in Brickell, which is like downtown Miami basically. Um, I came over here because I have reservations for this restaurant called Sexy Fish, but since I'm like early, I decided to just walk around and see if I can find anything to do until the reservations. So I like how the buildings over here are so colorful. Look at this. They're so tall too. It's almost like being in New York City. <laughs> okay, for dinner tonight, we're going to be having reservations right here in Brickell. It's called the restaurant. It's called Sexy Fish. I've never been, but I've seen so many videos, pictures off TikTok. Um, so we're going to go check it out. Now. Okay, as soon as you walk into the restaurant, this is the bar area. But it's so cool. Look at the fishes on the wall. Then you see a shark right there and then another giant fish right there and then this is the check-in area and they, they can hold your bag for you if you want and you can pick it up afterwards but this is the menu what it looks like on the outside and uh, open it this is what they have to offer it's a huge menu so they have a little bit of everything from fish to beef to the appetizers and and more it's like a lot to choose from and i like how they set up the table so they have like these chopsticks laying onto the fish and then even down to the lamp look the lamp is a is a seahorse that is pretty cool I like the little details inside this restaurant I get excited over the littlest things you know what I mean and look I just had to show you more of the, of the restaurant so the first appetizer is the um, calamari um, so I decided to get the hero. The hero is $95 a person but it comes with different appetizers entrees and a dessert and then this is the bao bun, the, sal the smoked salmon bao bun. I know I ate most of it, so sorry I didn't get to show you what it looked like before I started showing into it. Um, so, yeah, like I was saying, this is basically what we're getting here for the uh, hero. We got the hero menu. Um, so, like I said, the first thing was the salt and pepper squid, and the second thing was smoked salmon bao bun. And then the, the third thing that came out was the, the yellow tail. It comes with four pieces of yellow tail, um, which is the fish. And uh, these are the two sushi rolls. So we get a green dragon roll and a California roll. So that looks pretty good. So we get a sushi too. And then the next thing next to it is the watermelon and the crispy duck watermelon salad and the crispy duck so that's what these two are together and then up next is the steamed sea boss 
and then under right next to that one is the spicy beef tenderloin and then the grilled tiger prawns and then this is the sweet potato and then the, for dessert is the chocolate douce dulce and the sherbet um, everything for the desserts has been really 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 good um Okay, so this is one of the coolest restrooms I've ever seen inside of a restaurant. A bath, coolest bathroom I've ever seen inside of a restaurant. So you walk in, like everything is so bright and pink and like sparkly and cool. Look at this is the sinks, and it just feels like you're in a little mermaid or something. I don't know, even down to the floors. Look at that. It's so pretty in here. It doesn't even feel like a bathroom. It just feels like a photo shoot that you're gonna have inside here. And then there goes the mermaid. You see mermaids against the walls. And then toward the toilet area, look at this. All the octopus, uh, the seahorses and fishes. And then this is the long hallway to go into the to the long toilet area. And a big giant mirror right in the middle, which is right there. All right, guys, so just finished having dinner at Sexy Fish. It was a really cool restaurant, really nice themed. Um, it is on the pricier side, so just be prepared to spend a lot of money because, like, um, it was about almost $200 plus tip. Um, but it was worth it. Food was good, service was great, um, and the bathroom was my favorite <laughs> because it's not your ordinary bathroom. It's so pretty in there and the designs and the theming and the colors and stuff everywhere from the sinks to the hallway to the toilet like I don't know it's just crazy and you would never expect me to say that about a bathroom but that's like the coolest bathroom <laughs> ever um but it was a good experience I really enjoyed that um but uh okay guys sorry if the uh, footage like the sound is not as great I forgot my battery um at the hotel <laughs> so i'm using an iphone to film but hopefully you guys can hear me really well so this place right here on second ave in miami in downtown miami is this food hall i want to check out right it's called julian henry's and i found this place on tiktok i know a lot of places i've been seeing it from tiktok but it's right here so i'm gonna check it out. even though i've been eating all day i don't need to eat i just w literally want to walk because i'm a foodie i want to check out this place too Let's go. So as soon as I walk into the Julian Henry's food hall, it's like you see a DJ in the middle and there's like so many different places to choose from to eat or drink. It's popping in here because it's crowded. But there it is. There's a DJ and I like always like really cool like bright bar right there. But um, so we're going to explore around this place and Give you a tour and see what it's like. When I walked upstairs, I saw this vending machine that says Fukim Keen Lime Pie. You can get Keen Lime Pie in a vending machine. I was like, whoa, that's crazy. So basically, you go here, you pick what you want, and then you pay, and then it should drop down in, on the end for the uh, Keen Lime Pie. Um, so yeah, these are the like, flavors that you can choose from. Um, but yeah. 7.49 and then this is cool so when I'm walking you can see the people below you and the people can see above you but just make sure you don't wear no pants I mean sorry make sure you don't wear no skirt or sh dresses so people don't look up and see you on the way you know what I mean because it's see through on that floor on the second floor but this is pretty cool okay so the hotel I'm in Stena is called the Kafan Kafan I think I see it's on South Beach and this is the um, check-in area right over here in the lobby and then um, we go into the room as I said. I just want to give you a quick room tour. This is going to be their AC temperature. So look, you can adjust it colder, hotter, let's see, English, all the same. That's heat and that's cool. But um. Then we're going to go to the bathroom area. So this is the sink. They provide you with the soap and lotion and like little stuff in here. Shower cap and stuff. Okay. And then 
behind me is the shower and they give you a little shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. And then behind me is the toilet with the towels. And I like how they have the three little racks here so you hang your bags and stuff. And then over here is the bedroom. I like how spacious and huge this bed is. Um, <clears throat> over here, you got the little outlets. You put USB cords in there, a safe, an iron, an iron board, a mirror. Of course, that's me. And then a TV you can stream on it, um, connect to Wi Fi. Of course, a, a little more ch charger, USB cords. A phone table um, over here is the little coffee machine the k-cup coffees water bottles and then it's too dark to see anything outside but to the right is the beach and then there's a pool on um, there like I said it's too dark right now little table set and that's, that's pretty much it nice little clean basic room but it's nice okay. so I'm gonna show you around the pool area and I'm gonna walk to the beach really quick um, nice and quiet it's like super early so it's not really quiet so, so they have two pools here this is one of the pools a lot of lounge chairs um so i guess yeah like the sign says this one is the family pool and then over here is the second pool um and then this one is the adults only pool okay and then this is the hotel in the back where I just came from and we're gonna go walk toward the beach area now so as I walk out from the pool area going to go to the beach there's a cool little walkway there's a lot of people like running jogging along the different hotels here that's cool you want to try exercising um, and then you know, right to the right is literally the beach look at this this is so cool Wow, it's just so peaceful. It's like I can stay here all day, just listening to the waves. It's very therapeutic, and it's not crawling like I said. So it's nice. Oh, I bet I'm gonna put this little tractor behind me. Look at this guy. And I got after thing I was telling you about because it's pulling the dirt right here, and look right behind me. There's the hotel. Very nice. All right, guys. So for breakfast, we're gonna be going to this place called Miami Cafe. It's in Biscayne. Um, they're open from eight to four Monday to Sunday. So I wanna come here basically because of their fluffy pancakes. So let's go check it out. Okay, so this is a look at their menu. They have a lot of breakfast items, drinks like coffee, and um, on the back has sandwiches, but I'm here for the pancakes. So I'm gonna get the Miami pancakes is $11 comes with fruits and three pancakes They all that have stuff like Oreo, Nutella, tres leches, juice and smoothies, but don't make the same mistake I do you gotta Tell them your order over there and then they'll bring your food to the table because I'm used to going to restaurants Where they take your order and bring the food to you. So this is what the pancakes look like. It's very fluffy and it's thick is huge as strawberries, berries, whipped cream, and it comes with a syrup to it. You can pour on it, so it looks really right, good. Guys, just finished having breakfast at Miami Cafe, and these pancakes are really huge. Like in the pictures, they look like three little pancakes. I got the plate on my table, and they were like really thick and um, huge. So I didn't get to finish all three. I had like maybe one and a half. That's how big it was. But they were like they were they were good. They're buttery and it was tasty. But um, I don't think I would order it only because it's just way too much. But um, I'm glad for a weekend it wasn't that busy when I got in. But the only thing that threw me off, which I'm not used to, is you have to like take the menu and order first, and then they bring you the food. I'm used to sitting at the table, and then they take your order from you and bring the food. So just keep that in mind, so you don't be sitting at a table all day waiting, wondering if somebody's gonna take your order. But <laughs> Alright guys, so this is going to conclude this little short Miami trip for Labor Day weekend. Um, it's I know it was like just for a day, but um, it was really fun. I got to like cram in a lot. Everything on my bucket list, I was able to knock off during this trip. So like, 
um, got here and then um, went straight to Versailles, which is the Cuban restaurant. Even though it was a little wait to get a table, the food was pretty good. Um, and then, went, it's funny, went from one restaurant to another. And after that, headed over to Sexy Fish, and that was like the coolest themed restaurant I ever been to. Like I told you, even down to the bathroom, I liked more. I don't know why. It didn't feel like a bathroom. It just felt like you walk into an aquarium because you see all the stuff, even on the floor, the ceilings, the walls. It was just like having a full shoot in just the bathroom. But the food was really good too. It was a lot. Like the thing I got, like I told you, it was like about nine or something per person. But it comes with all these appetizers, the entrees, and then dessert. Um, but it was very filling, even though they were a little small portion, but it was a lot. It, it, it will fill you up pretty quickly. Um, so don't do what I did. Eat like an hour before your reservations because you're not going to really be hungry when you get there. But um, Oh yeah, and then like I said, keep in mind that it is kind of on the pricier side because, you know, we're in the Brickle area. So um, if you're planning to go there, expect to spend a lot. But then after that, um, went to, to go to this uh, three-story uh, food hall place called Julian Henry's, which was really cool. I didn't, like I said, I didn't eat anything there because I was too full. I've been eating literally the whole day. That's all I've been doing this whole trip was just eating a whole bunch of different places. But um, if you ever go there, they're open really late too, which is cool because they close at 11 o'clock every day. So, you know, if you're like, if you want something like a late snack or dinner, you know, you can stop by there. Um, the thing I would recommend, even though I haven't tried anything but looks really good, was the ramen spot. Uh, and then if you want something sweet, they had like this like waffle thing and you can put ice cream in it. And I thought that was pretty cool. And I like how the floors were like see through. So you, when you're walking, you can see people under you and you can see. Can you, can people can see above you so like I said just make sure you don't wear anything see through so people don't see you you know under your dress or skirt or whatever just wear like shorts or pants or whatever um and then um I didn't really get to spend much time at the resort because I checked in really late so I didn't really got to like hang out at the beach or the pool like I normally like to do but um but stay tuned guys because in two weeks I don't want to ruin the surprise, but you will see where I'll be going. That will be a nice little chill, relaxing staycation or vacation, I guess. But you just have to wait for that video. Um, but uh, I really enjoyed this little trip. It was like an in and out, almost like being in like a flight, like flight attendant, you know, having a layover because it was so short. It was like less than 24 hours, really. Because um, I didn't get here till like, I think, uh, 3 o'clock, 2 o'clock. I don't remember. Something late afternoon. And then flight to to leave soon, about an hour. But and then I got to really enjoy this Turkish lounge. Oh my gosh! If you guys have the priority pass, it's pretty cool because it, it goes through like a bunch of different airports around the world. So like the first time I experienced it was when I went on my Puerto Rico trip. Now I'm checking it out here in the Miami airport. So like every airport I'm going to is like I want to check out all the ones. It's so cool to have these complimentary drinks, the foods. And you can charge your phones, have Wi-Fi, and then it's a cool view, you know, where I'm sitting. You see the planes just going by, plane spotting. Um, but yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoy this little quick trip to Miami with me. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next venture. Bye!